Hey guys, Feel Strike here with day two of Project Warriors of Chaos. And today I didn't do much of painting painting on my chair yet that I'm working on. But I did do some magnetization, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. I also will show you what I did with the extra chariot here. Um, I showed you guys yesterday that I'm using this guy who is uh, just the regular Warriors of Chaos with a charioteer head charioteer head which I can't pronounce and uh, yeah maybe I'll start with that actually so this is guys the, the guy that comes with the kit and I decided to use the alternate head for the the, the charioteer driver driver of the chariot and that's because the other heads I want to use for my K Warriors of Chaos. No, sorry, Chaos Space Marine bikers. Because so I think they'll fit really cool well on them. I mean, this, this guy still has a gap on the back of his head. So I have to do something about that. But I think it works well. You know, he's facing towards the enemy with his axe and doing stuff like that. So moving on to my magnetization, which is, let me just show you the base first. So that's the four magnetic strips, uneven and looking kind of bad <laughs> right now, but I'm sure when I get the basing done, it will look, it will kind of hide these things. But these four, these four are going to be for the beasts. And I put, I'll show you the Gorbies first. I put two magnets on each of its feet that are closest to the ground and voila there you go that's gonna be my gore beast on the chariot base and i haven't glued the harness on or figured out a way to magnetize the harness yet so stay tuned for that but i did get the horses on just like the gore beast and I just want to show you how cool this is. How cool magnets are. Oops. Oh no, it's it's not strong enough, is it? Oh yeah, it is. There you go. Just hanging around. I always like to do that. Although some models I have, they're not as good to do that. So I also made this other base for this guy. Um, a spawn base so whenever I use the horses the regular chariot I can use the gore, bat, gore beast as a spawn and if I use the gore beast as a chariot I can put these two horses there and use them as a spawn too as you can see oops so yeah so I can use that as spawn and I think both are pretty fitting as spawn you know, if you look at the spawn cast spawns stats, you can see they have random mo movement. I think two d six and uh, one d six attack. So I think it's fitting because, well, for my fluff, these horses are kind of like uh, they don't have rider. They're riderless and don't have really direction like the chaos knights do. The Chaos Knight horses do so they just randomly walk around the battlefield and do as many attacks and move however they want because they have no master. When they're on the chariot, they have a master, and if they if there were Chaos Knights on them, they'll they ha would have direction. So same goes with the Gore Beast, you know, when he's with the chariot he can he can be guided into battle but when he's not he's just lumbering around doing whatever he wants and I'm gonna call this guy I mean we have Gary the Swig this guy's gonna be George the Gore Beast Curious George the Gore Beast is that a good name he looks kinda apish too George what are you doing? Don't bring those horns near me, okay? 
Okay, anyways, um, let's go to the chariot. So, I put, as you can see, a similar thing to the gore beast. I put magnets on these guys' hooves. And here's the chariot. And this, this harness thing isn't glued onto the thing. So I'm just going to put this glue here so I can show you guys what it's going to look like when it's finalized. Sorry about the lower voice. I'm kind of tired right now. I recorded quite a few videos, but they didn't weren't up to snuff for me. So, let's see if this works. Oh, put this guy here. And the other chariot here, here. So yeah, voila. So that's what it's gonna look like. Just the regular chariot in all its glory. So yeah, that's my progress for the day. I hope you guys liked it and get some ideas for your own chariot if you're a chaos player. If not, you know, maybe for your high elf chariot or whatever chariot you have that can be interchanged between two kinds of chariot. I think only this chariot and the high elf chariot can be interchangeable. Maybe the Lothurn Skycutter too. But yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, peace till next time. Um, my goal for the next, this coming week is to paint this guy up and get this guy finished and as you can see there's some green here I started painting him in a nervous scream and then became undecisive of whether I should have a corn or nurgle and I'm leaning more nurgle because of the the benefits of having a higher toughness chariot to survive through shooting and whatnot so same goes with my um, hero choice here. He's going to be probably in the mark of Nurgle, so he can be more survivability, survivable. And he already has a great weapon to have damage with. So even though having more attack, too, is pretty beneficial, whatever the corn mark gives you. Yeah, so let's say bye to George, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.